Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is adding and subtracting integers. Now, uh, usually when people get into 8th grade or they get into Algebra 1, they've, they've done this before. It's kind of a 6th grade thing. Uh, but all year, usually uh, about at least half, if not more, of the mistakes that people run across is they added and subtracted their integers incorrectly. So I'm going to talk about a method that works uh, to maybe rewire your head a little bit in terms of how this actually works. Because what I find is that some people just don't really understand what's going on with adding and subtracting integers. Um, and a lot of it's usually I blame it on the way that they learned how to do it. Now, the way I'm going to explain you right now, you could not go wrong. If you do it this way, you're going to get it right every single time. It's super easy. So the first thing you're going to do is when you look at a problem, uh, you never want to work with double symbols like this. That is a big no-no. When I see work with double symbols, I'm usually looking for where the mistake's about to happen because it always does. So what I usually do is I take both terms of the expression and I draw boxes around it. Now, um, I also want to add, everything you see me doing on this paper, is this how you're going to show your work in class? Probably not. But this is what I want you to do in your head. This is how you should be looking at it. So all you're going to see is how I'm doing it in my head. So I have a minus 3 and a plus minus 3. So this is basically a minus 3. And whenever you have a positive and a negative together, either this or this, that's a negative. When you have positives and positives and negatives and negatives, that means that the term is positive. So things can either be negative or things can be positive. So that's negative and that's negative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make what I call a scoreboard. Looks just like that. You have positives on this side, negatives on this side. So that's a negative, so that goes over here. And that's a negative, and that goes over here. So if I look at the scoreboard, who wins the game? The positives or the negatives? The negatives win. They have a total of six points. So negatives win by six points. And that's the answer. Um, this one over here. So I have that, which is a positive. And then I have a negative and a negative, which if I look over here, that's a positive four also. So if I look at this situation, um, the positives are going to win by 8. And then that's the answer. All right, this guy over here, I'm going to go ahead and make myself a little spot to work in over on this side. So I have a negative 2 minus 2. So this is a good place for me to stop and talk about subtraction. So what happens is a lot of times people say, well, this is like zero because you're thinking of subtraction like first grade or kindergarten where, we're, you know, you've got four apples, you take two away. That's not how it works. Um, it works like this. So if I look at this another way, there's no confusion at all. I have my positive and my negative, my scoreboard. This is a negative two. It goes here. This is a negative two and it goes here. And so it looks like everything's negative, and so that's negative 4. And then over here, 1 plus 1. Well, we know that that's 2, but let's go ahead and just for fun use the scoreboard. So that's a positive 1, and that's a positive 1. So it looks like the positive is 1, and there's a total of 2 points. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and, and do all of these pretty quickly just so you can see how it's done. So I have that, and I have that. So that 4 goes here, that 4 goes here, so that looks like a total of 8. This one, I'll rewrite that here. Okay, so let's do a scoreboard for that. So I have that number here, and I have that number here. So that's a minus 2, and that's a minus minus 2, which a minus minus is a plus. So it looks like the positives have 2, and the negatives have two, so nobody really won this game because it's zero. This one looks like I have a negative three. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here is, is I'm never talking about plus minus here. I'm, I'm basically just saying how many of these things are negative and how many of these things are positive, and then what happens is I just kind of look at who won the game. That's how I always think of it, and I don't make mistakes with my integers for that reason. I'll skip that one. I think I'll do this one right here. So I have negative 2 plus a negative 2. So I have that one, and I have that one. 
So I have a negative 2 here. And that's a plus minus, so that means it's a negative. So I have another minus here. So it looks like the negatives won this game, and they have a total of point, four points. Okay, this one, I have a positive one, and another positive one. So I have a one and a one, that comes to two. I have a positive three, and a negative three. That's zero. So, um... Doing these little tables like this, if you're ever confused, you should stop and do it because I cannot tell you the number of times uh, people will mess up some pretty complicated problems and they've got all the complicated parts down. They're just messing up this real simple stuff. And uh, it's just a matter of, of doing this. So that's how you add and subtract integers.